Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I want to show you guys how to draw a snowy owl. So to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eyes. So starting here, I'm just going to make a little oval shape like this. They're going to kind of be like an egg shape, and they're going to be kind of pointing in. And then I want to leave some space, and I want to do the same thing over here. It's kind of like an oval shape that's just pointing in. Then right along the edge here, I'm going to color in a little bit of this kind of black because they have a really dark line right around the edge of their eye. Then right in the middle here, I'm going to draw a black dot in each one for the pupils. Now, right in the middle here for their beak, their beak is really tiny, and I'm just going to make kind of like a small kind of pointed line like this, and I'm just going to color it black. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around. It's going to go right around the eye and then kind of curve to here. And then I'm going to continue this, and I'm just going to kind of draw some little kind of dash lines that just kind of go all the way to here. This just kind of helps show where some of the feathers and everything are. Now, starting here, I'm going to just draw a line that's just going to kind of curve back, and I'm going to bring it right to about here. And then on the head here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go right to about here. Then starting here, I want to make a line that's just going to go up for part of the wing. And then I'm just going to kind of go a little bit at an angle like this. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and then kind of curves down for one of the feathers. And then I'm going to draw another one right here like this. I want to add a little bit shorter one here. And then an even shorter one right here. Now, you could go and try to draw all the little individual feathers down here, but an easier way is this. I'm just going to start here and I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve here. It's going to go in and then kind of curve out to about here. And then what I'm going to do is on the end here, I'm just going to draw little bumps, keep them a little bit pointy, kind of like a rounded point. And I'm going to draw these all the way down here, all the way to there. Now starting here, I'm going to make a very skinny line that just goes all the way down to here for like the top of the wing. And then I want to draw some little lines that just kind of come back to it. So I'm going to start right here. And you can see that I'm drawing them where the little rounded parts of the feathers end. So I'm just going to kind of bring these kind of all the way to here. They don't have to be fully complete lines. You can kind of make them broken lines. And then I'm just going to kind of start curving these a little bit. So I'm kind of just bringing them up at like a curve. Just like this. Then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to curve to here and kind of come back. And I'm going to put a couple little kind of pointy lines on here just to show some different parts of the wing. Then right here, you want to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down and go out like this. And then you're just going to kind of bring it back up to here. Then right here, I'm going to put a couple little kind of pointy lines. Just to kind of show some feathers. And then right here, I'm going to add a little curved line like this to kind of show where the foot it will be. 
Then right out here, I'm gonna add a little bit of some pointy lines that just kind of curve back here to show the other side of the tail. Now for the other wing. So starting right here by the head, I wanna draw a line that's just going to kind of go out at an angle and then just kind of slowly curve up to here. Try to keep it about the same height. This one can be a little bit taller. And then you just want to kind of curve a little bit of a line down for some feathers. And then this next one's going to be a little bit taller. And then I'm going to kind of do this all the way down. And I'm just going to kind of make these slowly kind of go out and then they're going to come in and kind of go out again. And I'm going to slowly kind of start changing the size of the feathers. These are a little bit longer and skinnier. These are a little shorter and fatter. And then I'm just going to kind of bring them all the way to here. Now on this one, I want to draw a line that kind of curves up to here, goes in, and then kind of curves to here. And then I'm going to make some of these kind of long, real thin, kind of broken lines that just come all the way to here. These are going to kind of curve up a little bit. Just like that. Then I'm going to draw a little bit of a broken line that goes right along here. And then right along the feathers here, I'm going to add some broken lines just to show where there's some different little parts of the feathers. Now the body has lots of little kind of curves and everything. So I'm just gonna make some kind of like little bumpy kind of lines that are kind of broken. They're kind of following like a little bit of like a curve pattern here. And these are just gonna kind of go around here just to kind of show some details on our owl. I'm gonna add some extra little lines kind of around here. And I'm just gonna kind of put some of these all around here. Some right around the face too. kind of right around here. I'm also going to put some extra little broken lines along the tail. And then I'm going to do some curved lines here and then some more long lines here. And then even here by the tail I'm going to add some little broken lines. Now on the face by the beak there's going to be, I'm going to add some long lines around here. It kind of looks almost like whiskers because they have a lot of fur by, or I should say a lot of feathers right by their beak. And then they're even going to have some like long feathers right around the top and the bottom of the eyes. And then there's going to be lots of like little lines and kind of patterns and stuff right around here on the wings. So you can just kind of make a lot of little lines that kind of go all over. And I'm going to add a couple little more lines up here. And then just a few little lines that are kind of quickly going out there. And there you go. There is your drawing of a snowy owl. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.